Safety. Hi, and we're some of the cruisers from the Isle of Wight. We're here to talk about Shanklin Shine. Hi, I'm DJ Sam. These year's six pupils are old hands at producing podcasts. They're on to their 24th in just two years. How are you doing, listeners? Because may I say, you're up for a real treat. Before I start, I beg your pardon, and before you start, you make me furious, woman. That DJ Sour Milk is so sour, wouldn't let me introduce myself. Hi, I am the more mature DJ of our group, DJ Wizzy. To get us started, we're going to tell you what the ch- a chime really is. We initially wanted to set up a radio station, um, so we applied for a licence, and unfortunately we were declined. Um, so we thought, well, what other ways are there? And podcasting was really taking off, and so we looked into it a little bit, and... We set it up from there. A podcast is where children will record their thoughts or their work and then all those separate little clips are edited together into one long one and then that's shared over the internet. Group one, you're talking about the residential visits, but where you're up to in your planning stage. Sean and Anna, you have chosen... Shanklin Chime. Shanklin Chime. Why? Because it's a beautiful place and it's one of my favourite places in the Isle of Wight. We are finding ideas, research on the internet, things we've already found out. We're finding extra information out. And we're trying to put them, in, put them into script using in an interesting way. That's excellent. When we um, first started podcasting, we were all scared because we were just first time. <laughs> and I think the hardest part is all most of the people, most um, some of the juniors, I think of a DJ name so they don't put their real name on the podcast. And when you've got loads of other kids that might take their DJ name first, so they have to say it and then get it on the podcast so then nobody else can copy that name. Like, Is the introduction all right? Because I thought it was a bit small. It doesn't matter how long it is because it's simple and to the point. We don't need anything fancy. We learn quite a lot because we've learnt to have more confidence in ourselves from when we started because we were all nervous and now we can express our like voices more and put more warmth into what we're actually saying. And also, it's also helping us with the English work because we write letters on it, we do reports on our podcast, so it is helping us with our English work. So we're not doing it just for fun, we're doing it so we can learn and it'll help us in the future. One of the concerns with the school was to develop speaking and listening skills and also to give the children a reason for writing. Podcasting has fulfilled both of those requirements from 11%, level five, at Key Stage 2, two years ago. Last year, it was actually 50% of the children. I'm not saying it's all down to podcasting, but certainly podcasting has had a, a huge effect on that. Over a series of literacy lessons, the Year Sixers compile the various elements of their podcast. Well, we're sort of doing the script and planning, and we're researching on the internet for some facts about the Isle of Wight for us to like, interview the people. At first, I used to like really disagree with them because I used to be like very shy. But with getting used to it and warming up to it, I've become like more confident and been more willing to work with different people that I wouldn't usually work with. We're just putting in some facts and some safety tips and talking about our visit to Benridge Lifeboat Station. So for the rest of our script, we need to like add some more points. So what do you want to put in it? We should put in like what R and I stands for and about Max Leak in the third. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, and we could express some of our facts and tell the listeners what we mean and then talk to each other about it. When you're writing out a full script, it's quite boring, like if you're writing out a page of work. But when you're writing out a script for its podcast, it's good because in the end, you know that you'll get something worth writing it for. Right, what we're going to be doing in a moment is recording several groups' finished scripts. Hey, 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 everyone. DJ, DJ Dude here, and welcome to today's podcast. Can you... Can you believe it? We're on podcast 24 already. Today's podcast is all about our residential visit to the Isle of Wight. Do you know what your boy or girl did? You will do after listening to our podcast. So bye from me, DJ Dude. Enjoy. It is a normal class in a normal school with differing abilities. So some children require a little bit more time to produce, but everybody has a voice on the podcast and everybody's voice is heard. Hi, DJ Legos here. Hi, DJ Marvel's here. Hi, I'm DJ Crunchy. Hi, I'm DJ Cheesy. 
We're here to talk about what we're doing. How about we talk about our best ride or place? Well, that's a lot better than this morning. Well done, boys and girls. And you need to explain quite a few things, especially if mum and dad don't quite know about Black Gang Chime as well. An initiative like podcasting, you certainly cannot impose on a staff. Chris brought the podcasting idea into school. He trialled it with groups of children. And choose the bottom one. That's the option there. That one? Yeah. The results were evident Sorry. for everybody to see and almost staff were, if you like, brought in on a drip feed basis. Are you ready to record, girls? Hi, hi, hi. It's DJ Queenie Ams, the one and only DJ Candy, and we're here to tell you all about what went on at the beach at the Isle of Wight. It's trust, respect between staff, which is needed if a project like this is going to work. We've got the finished recording. Mm -hmm. Got the mini disc player. Right. Now I think I am ready for the next hey, okay. steps. I think so. Right. So Chris Bain, the school's ICT coordinator, guides Pat through producing her first right. podcast. He shows her how to input and edit the pupils' audio files on the computer, then how to upload these onto a free internet hosting site to turn it into an online podcast. Okay, so if you look now at your window. Right. You've got a whole list of clips that you recorded this morning. Oh, wow, yes. Right. <laughs> Honestly, it's this easy. And now it's saying that it's transferring them one by one and they'll end up on the PC. Well, that's quite straightforward, that, isn't it? Now, In the past, the IT coordinator has always edited the podcasting. Today is going to be my first editing session. So if you double-click that one... And that's brought your introduction onto your timeline. OK, so if you click play now, you can listen to how that sounds. So the things you don't want, isn't there, at the beginning there? Yeah, so this is where you'd edit that? Yeah. Anything that you didn't want? Yeah, want so what we'll do, now? we'll keep an eye now as to when Leslie, they start the speaking. Door, please. Right, yeah. Which should be probably when these next bars appear. So what you can do is you can now just put all your clips in and by the end of it you'll have a, a seven or eight minute podcast. That is really good. Yeah. So if you want to go to, um, we want to upload and send to the internet your podcast. Yeah, to press. Yeah. OK, so it's told you now that it's uploaded it OK. And that's it, you've done it. It's all that done. It's super duper. Uh, would you be able to do that yourself? I would, actually. In fact, I'm quite surprised at how straightforward I did find that. Yeah, I think I would like a go. Time is a little bit of an issue when you first start with podcasting because you, you want to make sure it's right. But as the time goes on, children can be involved in that process now. And so they're starting to edit for themselves. So it takes away a lot of the onus from the, the teachers themselves. So click on that and it'll bring up two choices. Now you can subscribe using a program <coughs> that most people have got on their computers or you can listen online. And that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey everyone, DJ, DJ Dude here, and welcome to today's podcast. Can, can you believe it? We're on podcast 24 already. Today's podcast is all about our residential visit to the Isle of Wight. Oh, give yourselves a round of applause. That was <laughs> Very well done. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. yeah. What were your thoughts? Just listening to that. What were your thoughts? James. At first I was like a bit embarrassed, but I th you know when I heard me on it. But I thought it was a good achievement because we put like lots into that one, you know that script writing. So I thought it was good to like hear all the end result. So well. Yeah, yeah definitely. Fantastic. Anna. As well as using audio podcasts, the school has created video podcasts in a variety of subjects. But before the filming can begin, the foundations need to be laid. Très bien. Quelle couleur? Which colour? Which colour? In English? Pink. It's pink, isn't it? After me, rose. Rose. Some lovely French accents there. I think the planning is crucial. You need to have an idea of what the children should accomplish by the end of the podcast, if you like. So, especially for French, the input with the vocabulary is crucial. Uh, il a les cheveux bruns. 
Il a les cheveux bruns. Très bien. For one podcast that might be two or three minutes long, you might spend two weeks preparing for it. It's crucial. Okay, so what we've done this morning, what we're going to do this afternoon, based on the lesson that we did earlier, is we're going to make a video podcast. Okay, now you're going to be controlling the camera, so you've got an important role. If you want them to move, you're going to need to tell them where you want them to be positioned. Okay? You okay with the camera? We've got two script writers. You've prepared a script based on the topic of hair colour in French. You're okay with your scripts? Yeah. yeah, you've worked hard on those at home and you've had a practice with them. Yeah, puppeteers, you're ready? Yeah, keep them alive. I know it's hard trying to keep them alive, but bobbing your head down at the same time. Okay, and we'll just try it first time around. Remember, really big voices, really big voices, nice and slow, nice and loud. Okay, when you give us the thumbs up, we'll roll. You have to ensure that the vocabulary is spot on before the children put anything on a podcast. So working more closely with smaller groups is more beneficial. So we do the input as a whole class and then we've rotated small groups to take it in turns to produce something for a podcast. Early on today, the year fives looked at how to say if you have a certain type of coloured hair. Look at you, sit back and relax as we all teach you what we have done. Is, does that sound okay to you, DJ Cheeky Monkey? We, 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 let's get cracking. It's bad enough for some children with confidence doing it in English. When you come to do it in a different tongue, it can be really daunting. Daunting for myself and daunting for the children, but with time, and it does take time, they love it. Jay. I have. Les cheveux. Hair. Rouge. Red. Um, input video. Once the Year 5s are happy with their recording, they seek the help of Year 6 pupils to edit it into a video. Then they meet with the ICT coordinator to make it into a podcast. Right, so yesterday you were making a French video um, with Mr. Paul, yeah? Yeah. With puppets. All right, do you know what happens to the video when you've made it? It gets downloaded onto the internet. It, yeah, it gets <coughs> uploaded. When you take something from the internet, you it's download it, but when you want to send something to the internet, up. you upload it. Yeah, and that's what we're going to do now with this. And then if you open up the internet window that's at the bottom of the screen, oh. that one, that's <laughs> it. And literally just press upload. When on that site does, can everybody see it? Yeah, when it's on that site, good question, it's, it's public, okay? So that's why, again, in the video we didn't use people's faces, it was puppets so that we protect your identity, yeah. And click publish. And that will then make that video live for everybody, your friends or family, wherever they are, to see that video that you've made. Oh, it's done? Website. Absolutely. So there we go, was that simple? Yeah. yeah. Would you remember? No, probably not now. <laughs> Would you need to do it a couple of times, maybe? Yeah, yeah, to get used to it. I'm DJ Dudes. I'm going. I'm gone. I'm DJ Jiggy. I'm out of here. Bye. Bye. It's a great experience to be able to work with all the equipment and be able to be in touch with people around the world. It's a really good thing to do podcasting, and I'd recommend it to anyone. Au revoir from DJ Cheeky Monkey and... Au revoir from DJ Bogsy.